Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. So this is Bilingo Micro Camper and obviously I'm on holiday. If you look round me, I'm at a camping and caravan club site in Land Dudno, Ross on Sea actually. You look round it's glorious. But as you can see there, Orion, I brought the tie tices with me. Have a closer look. So it's Sunday, the 5th of August. I got here yesterday on Saturday the 4th of August. I got stuck in traffic on my way. I'll give you a tour around my car and my awning in a bit. Just got back from a walk from a beach, so I'm red hot. Here's my brother's huge tent. Look at this for a view though. There's not many people on the field. Look at the sky. We've got a little hot dog, haven't we? Hey, a little hot dog, hey. Trusting to show off on camera. <laughs> oh, what did he do? Hey. He's done this loads of times. Rolling in the field in Wales. Just have a look at my nephew, who was one year old the other day. morning it's eight o'clock on monday the sixth so i'm just going to show you the car the horning before everyone gets up and starts noticing what i'm doing okay so here's the awning someone gave me this but looking on ebay they're called retro or vintage driveway hornings. So two windows on the sides and a main door. And as you can see on my car, I've got this reflective sheet on. The roof box is fitted. Okay, I'll catch up with you later. Look at that little frown. What's this pointing at you? He doesn't know what this is. It's a camera. You'll have one of these by the age of two, won't you? Eh? He'll be vlogging. So we've walked a mile point two two uphill. And this is the view so far. Yeah. 
So the mountains facing us is a Snowdonia range. I'm not sure of which hills. If you look out over there across the sea, that's Anglesa. The Great Arm. No, that's a small arm. And is, is that what it's called, Darren? Yeah. Baby Arm. Baby Arm. And there's the trig point at the top of the hill. Some berries. I don't know what type of berries they are. Good morning. He wakes up and instantly starts begging at me. What's up with you? So, this morning, we've woke up to rain. Okay, so I've just set up a USB port. This one that you can see here lit up. I've wired it up to the fuse box. The wires go in the back. Don't know how well you can see. To the battery. So, this wouldn't fit on here, so I've had to use brackets to hold it on. But this is all temporary. I should have done this really before I come away on holiday, but I didn't have a chance. Right, so now I'm gonna put the solar panel in. Okay, so the solar panel's fitted. I've got it here. Show you inside. Little dog. So there's the solar charger, as you can see, charges going into it, but yeah, that's it. Right, so I've just got to wire the other sockets up now, the 12 volt socket and the volt reading meter. Um, but I've got no wire, so I can't do that till I get back now. There's nowhere to get wire from, from around here either, I mean, you're going to get ripped off. But yeah. So I've got to make a privacy blind for this window. But that's all I've got to do then really. And I've not done much while I've been here. Just want to enjoy myself with my family and have a laugh at that, go walks and spend time with the dog. So yeah, it's been brilliant. Still got another, what day is it today? Tuesday, we're not coming home till Sunday. Got a good few days left yet. And my older brother, his girlfriend and her son, they're coming tomorrow. So that'll be good. Right, okay. Right, so I've already charged three phones off the battery. Um, the kids' phones, because you know what kids are like. We're constantly looking at my phones. So the charger's run out. So it was all my for me to set this solar panel up. So I set it up and been charging it for them. But... Orion loves this. I took my blind off in the day and he can sit there and look out. What are you doing? Why do you do that when I'm filming you? Hey, you're a little rascal. He's been barking a lot, haven't you? Hey, tell him you've been barking at everyone you see. Any car that goes past, the kids go and leave him, he barks. Darren goes and leaves him, he barks. He's been a little barker, aren't ya? Eh? Aren't ya? But that's a view of the site. You can see no one's near us. No wonder. <laughs> oh, a waggy bum. Brought these two little guys with me. He's asleep in there at the minute. Dandy's having his turn in the run. Eating cucumber. Got a big mouthful. Oh, he 
is Nata. Morning, it's 13 minutes past 6 on Wednesday the 8th of August so I've woke up dead early, it was cold um, so I've had the cooker on and made a brew and then left it running with no kettle on to warm it up in here but listen to all the birds song So it's quarter to seven, the sun's coming up over the hills and it's starting to warm up. Under this blanket and sleeping bag here somewhere is Orion. But it's 7.33 a.m. I've just made this privacy blind. As you can see, I've joined it down there. And there's a gap at the top. It's not the best fit, but it works. But look at this little square here. This comes out. And it's a little spy hole. Goes back in. Great. So this is a solar panel. I've stood it on my stool for now, just pointing my sky. My brother said we have to be at a 45 degree angle facing the sun. So I'll do that later. The sun's not really above the trees yet. So it's 10 watt. As you can see, it's overcast, the sun's out there but it's overcast and it's still pumping charge into the battery from a charge controller, I'll show you now. So this is a charge controller, as you can see here, that's power off the solar panel, that's putting it into the battery and that's when the battery's full, you link it into here and it's like um puts power into a light or something I wondered whether you could put that onto a cool box and then when the battery's full the solar power will run the cool box then I'll have to look into that but yeah you could see it's cloudy or kind of overcast and it's still got charge going into it like my brother's little gas heater because Ryan's woke up and he was shaking cold so I'm warming him up
Hi, so we've come to Conway, I've just left my brother and his family down there, the crabbing. So I've come up here just to show you the views. Really nice. Orion's been going at loads of dogs, haven't you? He's been a little rascal, haven't you? Eh? to do if you're cold is boil the kettle warms the tent up brilliant right three hot water bottles just filled the two camel ones are for the tortoises and that's for Orion right it's 7 a.m. as you can see behind the sun's rising and this hill behind me here I'm gonna walk up it Got Orion and we're ready to go. Walk up hills and this is what he does. But he's diverting me from the view. Right, it's 10.43 on Thursday, so I was freezing cold this morning and woke up for the night freezing cold, but I had water bottles, but we'd cooled down and it was really cold. Anyway, I let my brother's eater and just got out for a walk, as you've seen, but I wanted to show you this. As you can see there, the blind I made yesterday, my niece has drew a picture on it. She copied mine. I asked her to. So I've got one blind like that. One blind with mine on. I'm gonna get the kids to do some more drawings inside the car on the wood that's under the bed. There's my little spy hole. Okay, I'm making a window template for the two front windows, driver's side and passenger's side. That's a window template cut out. So, pop it on the floor. I've got two sheets of Corex. I'll show you what Corex is next. Right, this is Corex. 
Corex is a plastic sheet we use on greenhouses, so allows light through. I'm going to stick a template on it, draw around the template, cut it out. That's the outline drew. Right, that's it cut out. My broken scissors. I need a new pair. <laughs> right, so that's it fitted. Show you from the inside. Right, this is it from the inside. As you can see, transparent, lets the light through, but it's privacy blind. It's hot, isn't it, Orion? Stay there. Oh, he's gonna beg. He's gonna beg. Look at him. Look at him, he's very cheeky, aren't you? <laughs> you cheeky. What you after, eh? Eh? What you after? Orion's been crying in my car. Oh, you heard his name. Orion's been crying in my car to come and sit outside and I think he wanted to sunbathe at the door. He's got a longer leash now, so he's just sat there though. Got my bags a bit neater. Two rugs down on each side, a ground sheet in my middle, a portal in. I made this. Tied it on there, piece of paracard, dangles down to the toilet roll, a piece of unwanted foam at the bottom, and dangles there like that. He's had a busy day. Time to chill out now. As you can see, the sun's still shining. But it's nice and warm in here. Okay, so this LED strip light that I've got up in the awning fell off the inside of the car on the driver's side. The glue come undone, it was hanging off, so I stuck it up here. So, you can hardly see, but Ryan's got his camo pyjamas on. So, good night. morning it's um, what time is it seven o'clock I've been up for an hour it's absolutely freezing again I've eaten the hour I've got to look for the dog but um, I've had the gas stove running with no kettle on just to warm it up in here a bit not running it long so it's nothing dodgy but it's absolutely freezing if you look through the window the sun's shining so it's just a case of getting warm <laughs> been freezing every night and every morning <laughs> oh well that's camping
Right, so it's 11 o'clock now. I was that cold this morning. I moved that awning and the car over to the opposite side of the field. I got my kids to help me, my kid help me. You can see now. Some through both windows. It's warm now, isn't it, Ryan? Eh? Can't have that freezing in the mornings. There's a good boy. Aye, aye. Oh, hey, hey, no, stop it. Why does he come jumping up when I film him? Cheeky. Stay there. That's a good boy. Oh, is he going to beg? Is he going to beg? Yeah, he's going to beg. <laughs> You're mad, aren't you? He's been lay there crying because he can hear the kids. Don't know if you can hear, but it's raining. So, it's 11.38 and it's hammering it down and it's quite cold as well, but our kids looked at the weather app and he said it's going to stop raining at um, 1 o'clock, I think he said. So we'll see, but we'll see mess. We ain't going anywhere today. <laughs> right. I tried showing this last night but it was too dark so I'm gonna set the toy toys up like I do for at night time and show you how I do it so first of all radiator foil goes behind the radiator reflects the heat so put that down then I've got a hot water bottle so three hot water bottles in the jumpers Luke goes in first, Dandy goes in second, then I put a duck down mountain coat over it, we could be able to get air because it's really breathable, so um, that's how I do it, at night, every night, jobs are good on. Right, check out this, it's just threw it down. Dog don't pop. Ryan. That's the snow down near mountain range you can see there. It's five to nine and the little dog's tired out. Just heated the hot water bottles for the Thai Thaises. I'll do mine later. Orion. Orion. Morning. It's 5.21am on Saturday of the 11th. So I've been up from quarter to five. And guess what? Cold. Absolutely freezing today. Um, it was cold for the night. Well, it wasn't that bad actually. Absolutely freezing today. 
It's 6.30am and the sun's just rising now up up the trees and the hills so it's starting to warm up slowly. Right, so it's 8.13 and my sun is scorching already. Absolutely red hot. Brilliant. Bag. Bag. Ah, oh, dead chica. Bag. Bag. Do you quiet? Do you want a treat? I've got to bag. So I didn't say it before, but it's our last day today. We'll go home tomorrow. So I've been here. When I go home tomorrow, we've been here eight nights. Been sat looking down the field for ages, sunbathing, haven't you, Ryan? Eh? Haven't you? Eh? It's a lovely Saturday. Right, you've got a nine and a half by width, ten by length square of this window. Got this window film tape measure, my rubbish scissors somewhere, and I'm gonna cut some film. First square fitted. Right, that's four pieces fitted. I'm fitting it in a checkerboard pattern. Jump to the next four. Right, two darts of film. I'll show you tomorrow.
yeah, that's it. It's been like an holiday video, a DIY video. Bit random, but yeah, that's it. With my dog, my two brothers, um, my nieces and nephews, my sister-in-law, my brother's girlfriend. So we've had a top time and I've done eight nights in my car. So actually, this is only my third time camping in my car. But when I get back, I'm going to do a lot more. The car's near enough done now. Um, little bits to do here and there. What sort of solar stuff out, fit that properly. A few other jobs to do. So you've joined me, Paul, at One Man One Dog. It's been Bilingo Micro Camper. And yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.